As GTA Online has so many weaponized vehicles, I decided that today I would compile what I believe to be some of the best weaponized vehicles in GTA Online, not just useful for PvP, but also for just generally doing missions. So if you enjoy this video, then please like and subscribe for more uploads and comment your favorite weaponized vehicle in the comment section down below. But without further ado, let's get straight into this. I have included a total of seven vehicles in this list as it was incredibly difficult to narrow down any further than this. So coming in at the number seven spot, we have the Hunter Helicopter, a vehicle I feel is very underrated and under appreciated and is arguably the most useful helicopter in the entire game. It is the fastest weaponized helicopter in the game and it poses good handling, making it very easy to control, meaning it can maneuver in small areas such as in the city flying low. Now it also can take a lot of damage and a lot more damage compared to the other helicopters in its class and is just generally very good. And to top it off, it has a good variety of weapons, including a front chain gun, which is quite powerful and can also detect enemies that are nearby along with rockets that can be changed between guided and unguided, meaning this vehicle can be used to take out targets very effectively. So if you are a fan of helicopters or just like the sound of this vehicle, you can pick it up for a price of $4,123,000 or for a trade price of $3,100,000 from Warstock Cash and Carry. Number six on this list is a personal favorite of mine, mostly because you can equip liveries with anime girls on them, and who doesn't love anime? Woo! But on a serious note, the Scramjet is one of the funnest vehicles in GTA and can get you around the map very, very quickly thanks to its recharging rocket boost and quick acceleration. Along with this boost, it also has a recharging jumping feature, similar to the one on the Ruiner 2000, meaning you can just bounce over incoming traffic, for instance, and it can just help in you in some awkward and weird situations, and can be a great way to dodge missiles from other players. Now, in terms of weapons, the Scramjet has everything you need including two front-facing machine guns, which perform the same as those of vehicles such as the Blazer Aqua and the Ruiner 2000. And let's not forget about the two homing missile launchers, which provide heavy firepower against most targets and have very good tracking capabilities. Unfortunately, these missiles don't have as good tracking as the Ruiner, but they are still extremely powerful and can take out fast-moving targets with ease. So if you want to pick up this incredibly useful and extremely powerful vehicle, you can do so by heading over to Warstock Cash and Carry and offloading $4,628,400, which is very expensive. So if you want something a bit cheaper, keep watching through this video as we have plenty more vehicles on this list. The number five spot on this list goes to a vehicle that requires a good amount of skill to operate, and that's the Oppressor Mark I. Now, this is a rocket-powered superbike which is lightning fast with ground and air capabilities, making it extremely versatile. And with it being a sports bike, the handling is nothing shy of excellent, even when going at high speeds. Now, the bike also features a set of retractable wings which lets the player boost and fly over buildings and, with the right skill, sometimes over the entire map, making it very useful for doing certain missions especially if you have to go over long, large distances. Now, it also has the option of either having two front-facing machine guns, which perform the same as those of vehicles such as, once again, the Blazer Aqua and the Ruiner 2000, or you can choose the far superior homing missile launchers, which provide heavy firepower against most targets and have very good tracking capabilities. Just like the Scramjet, unfortunately, these missiles don't have the same tracking as the Ruiner 2000, but they are still very, very useful and will take out targets, including players, with great ease. Although the Mark I is now overshadowed by its much easier to operate and use older brother, the Mark II, but I still believe that today the Mark I Oppressor is much more fun to use and still serves a purpose in GTA Online. 
Now, if you want to pick this one up, it will set you back just over $3.5 million, or you can get it for a trade price of $2.65 million, which is significantly cheaper than the Scramjet. At the number four spot, we have our first fighter aircraft, and that's the extremely popular laser jet. A vehicle that's been around since the beginning and used to be the most overpowered vehicle in the game a few years back. Now, it may not be as overpowered as it used to, but it is still one of, or arguably, the best fighter airplane in the entire game. Now, being a fighter jet, the Laser is an extremely fast aircraft with a top speed of approximately 185 knots and excellent handling. This vehicle can fly you straight across the map in a matter of minutes. But what about weapons? Well, as a fighter jet, so there will obviously be a good selection of hard hipping weaponry, including dual explosive cannons, which are extremely powerful and effective against most targets, and they are able to easily finish off an enemy with a single well-aimed burst and are also capable of destroying even heavily armored targets such as the Avenger, Mobile Operations Center or the Insurgent Pickup Custom with sustained fire. Now you also have access to missiles which can be fired with or without lock-on. Now these missiles have a lifespan of about 10 seconds or so and are able to chase targets effectively at the cost of subpar tracking as they may miss the target quite often. Now the missiles also have a short sort of reload time where if two missiles are fired in quick succession the pilot cannot fire another missile until after a short four second cooldown or so which this cooldown definitely helps to balance this plane out a bit but either way this plane is useful in so many situations and the only real downside is its price which if you want this vehicle and to store it in your hangar it will cost six and a half million dollars so if what i would advise you to do is just to continue to steal it from fort zancuto if you really want to use one at this next spot we have another aircraft which i believe is just slightly better than the laser overall and that's the pyro a super fast and super lightweight fighter aircraft that is extremely fast and has the best handling out of any plane in the entire game, making it a god at dogfighting. Now in terms of speed, the aircraft can reach speeds of 210 knots, which is the same speed as the Hydra. Now the aircraft also has a lot of countermeasures, including flare and smoke, which helps to divert away oncoming missiles, which is a huge help. Now on the offensive side, this aircraft does lack some of the more heavy hitting weapons such as the explosive cannon, but it still has two front facing machine guns which behave exactly like the other guns equipped on the P-45 Nakota and the Starling, and it also comes with missiles which can be fired with either homing on or with homing off just like every other aircraft. Now these, now these missiles have no real reload cooldown and can be fired continuously, meaning they are very very useful and are some of the best missiles in the entire game. So if you want a very fast and easily maneuverable jet capable of dogfights and missions, you can pick this one up for just over 4.5 million dollars so we are nearing the end of the list and there are two remaining vehicles and both of them i believe are the most useful well duh they're higher up on the list so they should be more useful so anyway at the number two spot we have the toriader which i believe to be one of the most practical vehicles in the entire game being able to be operated on land and in water with decent speed and handling in both with the vehicle having a rechargeable boost, which helps you boost through the water at tremendous speed. Now, it also has some good weapons, including dual forward facing fixed machine guns, which behave like most front facing machine guns from several land vehicles. Now, the vehicle also features a homing missile system, just like most other well, vehicles on this list, which has insane range, but means the tracking is not as good. Then finally, the vehicle also features a unique torpedo launcher system that also has reduced lock-on and effective range. But the torpedoes can actually break the surface of the water surprisingly and are able to hit targets on land or low flying aircraft, which means this vehicle could actually be an excellent counter to griefers as it could just hide in the water and spam lock on torpedoes and they can't hit you back. Now making this vehicle sort of broken in a way, 
but plus it can be called in by the mechanic, meaning it's very convenient. Now you can pick this vehicle up for a price of $3,660,000 from Warstock Cash and Carry. Here we are finally at the number one spot and unsurprisingly at that number one spot we have the Oppressor Mark II. By far the best and most overpowered vehicle in the entire game and is useful in almost every situation. It has single handedly ruined GTA PvP and I don't think anyone can really disagree with that and it makes every other vehicle in the game look like complete dog shit. Now this vehicle is very fast with a rocket boost and terrific handling. Now this thing is every player's dream but at the same time also everyone's nightmare. It's also arguably the easiest vehicle to use in the entire game and on this list and if you lose a fight against someone whilst using the Mark II, you should definitely consider uninstalling the game. Fortunately, in the next GTA Online DLC, this vehicle will be getting a long overdue nerf, but for now, it's by far the most useful and overpowered vehicle in the entire game. Now, this vehicle has some incredible homing missiles, which have extremely aggressive tracking, meaning you can take out targets very easily. And you can pick this one up from Warstock Cash and Carry also. But that's all for today's video. What other vehicles would have you put on this list as there are so many weaponized vehicles in GTA Online now. So list your top five in the comment section below. And like always guys, take care everyone and have a great day.